we hustle daily what's going on hustle nation welcome back to another video it's your boy big play ray coming to y'all with another video today all right before we get started make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel i am using um my auto auction research website which is in the link in the description below if you would like to use it i've seen somebody say what's the website the website is in the link in the description below this website is in the link in the description below this website is in the link in the description below you have to pay to use the website it is a monthly subscription but it works out great all right so y'all seen that i said um uh, the um the lexus man the lexus had a misfire man let's go ahead and check it out we just released a video today. Here is the Lexus right here. The 2014 Lexus IS. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. For any in damage on that, y'all get in the comments below and let me know what y'all think about that damage there. Let me know what y'all think about that damage there. Um, Nice car though, man. Nice car. Love the interior on it. The interior was super nice. That red can't get no better than that yeah that red nice bro i ain't gonna lie to y'all um 3.5 122,000 miles and remember there is the damage right there so we about to get into it and we about to see um how much did this thing sold for let me go ahead and save that let's go ahead and see um what else did i want to tell y'all guys yeah so the misfire i seen somebody in the comments was like yeah you don't buy misfire Definitely don't buy Misfire, man. I don't care if the miles had two on there. You know, and that's, again, that's just because of my own personal experience and what happened to me when it came to um, buying a car and finding out that it had low compression. So, here we go. What did the 2014 Lexus, hey, it says it's a 2.5 liter, not a 3.5. Y'all see that? Oh, it was the IS250. My bad. Hmm. What's going on, Hustle Nation? If you're interested in learning how to buy, sell, properly inspect these cars at auctions or private party sales, make sure you head over to whdacademy.com. You're going to learn how to spot a bad car in seconds, how to get your dealer license, how not to get scammed from the auctions or private parties, and how not to get a limit. I got a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, and a lot of techniques in this academy that's going to teach you everything you need to know to be successful in this auction game. I didn't help thousands of other people you can see what they're saying i have helped all these people here you see in the comment section and who has been replying about the my academy so make sure you check out the website guys i got two options on there for you guys you get the full curriculum or i can just give you the basic how to inspect car package for 49 dollars see you guys on the inside if you're interested you do not want to miss out on this opportunity boom the 2014 Lexus IS sold for a whopping $8,800. That was 54% of the retail value, which was $17,746. All right. It only was in that one auction. And again, <clears throat> this is not with the fees. With the fees, let me go ahead and get my, uh, what you call it out, so I can tell y'all what that is out the door. All right, so $8,800. Give me one second. I'm going to tell y'all what that was out the door. Okay, boom. Not, I mean, let's look at this damage. Reinforcement. I got one of them. Probably could have used the same reinforcement. New hood. Ooh, that sucks to have to get a new hood just because of that. Would have wanted somebody to fix that. Headlight was going to be $500 just for a headlight. Y'all know how that go. Bumper, reinforcement, and probably the, um, what you call it? Which I, do I got? I think I got, still got those. The um, rail extensions. So, the total price out the door, guys, was $9,900. And sixty-eight dollars for the 2014 Lexus IS. Everybody, get in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. With 122,000 miles, seeing that it was the ISF, um, it was the IS 250, not the 350. And um, what do you guys think, man? Was that a good price? Was that not a good price? Everybody, in the comments below, let me know. Um, 
yep just wanted to go over that with you guys i'm gonna start going over the prices with you guys when they sell so uh so we all you know can be on the same page again if you want to use this website the link is in the description below again you do have to pay a monthly subscription to use this website but it comes in handy appreciate y'all for tuning in it's your boy ray big play ray man i'm out this video has been sponsored to you by Auto A Stat. Now, Auto A Stat is a tool that I use to help me find out if cars were staged in Copart. For example, this 2021 Cadillac CT5 was sold for $24,800. But if you go down, you can actually see more information about the car. You can see that it was vandalized. That's why it's here. The car starts and everything. But if you go all the way down to the sales history, you can see that the car was also sold in 2021 and you can find out more information about it it was uh, sold by the insurance company state farm but if you click it you can also see that the car had another lot number that sold for 20,000 if you look at the photos here you can also see that this car actual damage was right here on the side there so that means that someone bought the car fixed the doors and then resold it back in Copart for $24,800 and they actually did the writing themselves so they were the ones who vandalized the car this website can also be used if you want to know how much I bought my cars for because I never really tell you guys how much I pay for cars so you can also find how much I pay for cars and if something is fishy going on with the car so if you are interested my link is in the description below make sure you sign up with my referral link and lastly this website can also be used for Copart and IAA so here's the Copart website all you would have to do is copy the lot number or the VIN number or you can go to IAA and also just copy the lot number so here's the lot number here and all you would do is set it up top and there you go so it works for IA and Copart and lastly there is a monthly subscription I personally use the pro package which is $49.95 but you can also get the personal um, package which is $19.95 you can look up cars in the last two years and with the pro package you can look up cars in the last four years but when I tell you guys it is worth it it is really worth it it has helped me save a lot of money subscribe yes sir we're getting it in in you the are, pandemic you already know we man we don't give a damn about no depression recession we're gonna make it happen you already know man